The moon is our nearest neighbor, and for over 400 years, ever since Galileo first turned his telescope upwards, we have been studying its features. One of the most numerous features are what we call impact craters, large holes formed when incoming objects smash into the surface. Over the years, many different people have cataloged craters on the moon, from early catalogs based on Earth-bound telescopes to more recent ones based on our latest lunar orbiting probes. One assumption in those catalogs is that any given researcher is going to identify the same craters, or at least do so with little variation from person to person. This was tested briefly in 1970 in a study tucked away inside of another paper, but the question was practically untouched until now. A new study is the first of its kind to examine how different, independent crater analysts will identify craters in a given region of the moon. This work had eight different expert analysts with five to over 50 years of experience, all studying the same region and looking for craters. What we found was that experts can vary in their numbers by up to a factor of about two. But what makes this study truly unique is that not only did we study how well professional researchers vary, but we also looked at minimally trained volunteers using CosmoQuest's Moon Mappers project. This project asks volunteers from around the world to identify craters and other features on the moon to help us do scientific research. This is the first paper to come out of this work, and what we found is that even though there is typically more variation from one volunteer to the next, the power of crowdsourcing means that the overall average of volunteers is within the range of experts. In fact, not only is it within the range of experts, but it's very close to the average of the eight professionals who also examined this region of the lunar surface. We've only just begun to tap the usefulness of crowdsourced feature markings through CosmoQuest's Moon Mappers, Asteroid Mappers, and Mercury Mappers portals. With this first study, we can now point to these projects and say that volunteers, as a group, mark these features just as well as professional researchers, meaning that we can use the power of the crowd to gather more data than we ever thought we could before.